got my tools out because we're having an issue already that we're gonna have to figure out. Here, here, I'm gonna take this. Okay, don't land on your face. They call this little trail the Devil's Playground. That one? Okay, where are we? Colorado. Colorado. What's up guys? We have made it to another episode, episode three. And we're gonna keep this thing going. While we're traveling in the US, we wanna keep our new friends online and our family up to date. If you missed the last video, you can play catch up. And if you are new, then remember to hit subscribe. You can hit the notification bell and that will keep you alerted every single time we post a video. In this video, we made it to Colorado. Memphis, the kid's cousin and his mom and dad joined us for this leg and we went to Garden of the Gods. Have you guys ever been to Garden of the Gods? Let us know if you have. It was insane. Massive structures to look at. First, we went to the visitor center and we discovered that they've discovered a new type of dinosaur. And guess what the type of dinosaur is called? It's called Carrie. It's actually called Theophytalia Carrie, but still, that's Carrie. It's close enough. After a quick walk through the visitor center, we went ahead and went into the park. We are in Garden of the Gods and we're hoping that the storm holds off. It's supposed to be thunderstorms, but we're here, we're going for it. It's a three mile loop through this beautiful landscape. Let's do this thing. The Garden of the Gods did not disappoint. Huge structures to see. The kids love climbing all, all the rocks. And it was kind of cool to find out that this was someone's backyard at one point, someone's property. Can you imagine having these rocks in your backyard? And they were kind enough to donate the land so that people like us, people like you, can go visit it for free. You tired, man? Yeah. <laughs> go ahead, Levi. We keep taking turns. That's the way. <laughs> Piggybacks on this last stretch. Bossy's a little tired. Do you like the hike? Yeah. After that hike through Garden of the Gods, we went back to the car and drove to another rock structure called Balancing Rock. If it was up to me, I'd probably call it Falling Rock because it looks like it's about to, oh, looks like it's about to fall over like I am. But I'm not in charge of the naming, so it is what it is. After that, we came down back into town and we ate at this place. It was kind of cool. You could bring your dog to eat with you and they had a little space for dogs to run around. So maybe we'll have to go back there someday with Chase. I'm sure he'd like it. After that, I couldn't believe it. The kids still had energy. So we went to this local spot a friend told us about. We did another hike to a waterfall and that was amazing. Oh, 
they got like feeders up there. We've done a lot of hiking today and we're finally getting to the top of these falls. Me and Landon taking the lead. We made it to the top. Do you know what this falls is called? Um, no. If I, if I get out of the water, man. Mountain man. So I think this is our second, third, maybe third stop. We're in Colorado and got my tools out because we're having an issue already that we're going to have to figure out. We have a ca the cable that's holding it. Like it's like ripping and it's causing issues when it's going up and down so here's the cable something's causing this cable here to fray when it goes up and down and now since it's not like a smooth cable going up and down it is like stopping and we can't put the the bed up okay this should be free now Okay. Here, Kirk, I'm gonna take this. See that? That whole bar is That's bent. supposed to be up there. So that's part of the problem. When this thing is coming through here, like it's going in sideways, and this thing is sideways, so it's it's scratched the cable. I need a, I need a new cable, yeah. That's not even it. If I can get this back and this back up, so that this is all straight, which looks like I could do with these components. I just don't know how to support this bed. We'll get to it. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> Fix it. You really trust me to do that? <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna need a new cable, but for now we need to figure out how to just get it up. I don't blame you, Levi. Make sure that net is Okay. Yes. Like the top two screws aren't even in. Wait. But like I'm worried about this, this like while I'm driving. Put pins in it. Yeah. Well, we got the bed back up. Bed's back up and the cable is um, holding. We've got the safety pins in, but, but honestly, we can't really use this bed until we get this to a repair person. So kind of nerve wracking. Glad we got it up and can kind of move on from this location, but already facing trials on the road. Yeah, so about the bed, it is still broken, so there's that, but at least it was up, it was secure, and we headed to the next stop, which is the highest point in that region. Leave us a comment if you know where I'm talking about. Altitude, Altitude is height. <laughs> when we got to Pikes, we were at about 7,800 feet and we basically had a long way to go because the top was 14,000 feet. And so it's a huge uphill climb with tons of great things to see along the way. Okay, we've made our way up to 11,000 feet. took over driving 
because whenever I drive the RV and then go back to driving the Jeep, I'm like a bad driver. I feel like I'm driving the RV. So she took over. She said I was no longer allowed to drive, but at least I got to enjoy the views along the way. All right, we made it up to the top of Pikes Peak and it's cold up here. We got our hoodies on, our jackets. Everyone's freezing. And they call this little trail the Devil's Playground, probably because of all these jagged rocks. And even right now, I'm getting closer to the edge than I really want to. At the top of Pikes Peak, it is literally breathtaking. Like the air is thinner. I felt myself getting fatigued a lot faster, but the views are incredible. Like so incredible. They had a little shop at the top where you could get donuts and I think some drinks. We didn't do that, the lines were too long. But there's a ton of construction going on up there. Like maybe they're putting in a restaurant. We didn't find out, but my guess is the next time we visit Pikes Peak, there's gonna be a lot more to do on the mountain. So I would encourage you guys to plan a visit sometime in the near future. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, remember to like, follow share and subscribe and we're going to keep you posted we're going to be traveling and we want to take you along with us for the journey we have already made so many friends online and can't wait to meet more and uh i finally made it to the top of my destination here i'll show you my view before i hike all the way back down and we're going to gear up to head to our next destination so we will see you then